Federico Ferrante here from uh, Azimut Yachts and uh, today we're gonna go through a, a very comprehensive walkthrough of this brand new Azimut 72 flybridge from our flybridge collection. So of course uh, we are in the cockpit, this is uh, uh, your wet bar, wet bar which is very complete, you have a refrigerator, a nice hidden drawer for all your utensils and uh, material incorporate beautifully and this is part of our uh, platinum audio video package uh, a subwoofer which is part of the audio video system as i said and then you have of course your wet bar with hot and cold water at the station and a double uh, top one next to the bar and when you close the top of course this entire area can be used for uh, food or beverages or any uh, other need going to the table of course uh, this as well as it looks like uh, a natural stone it is not this is synthetic now the technology is allowed to make synthetic material which look exactly the same as natural but don't comes with all the price that you need to pay with natural product not when you buy them but when you own them in terms of uh, how delicate they are and how uh, stained they get same for the trim uh, the trim is also another synthetic material so the full table is custom made by us for the 72 flybridge made of uh, synthetic material which are designed to last forever uh, still in the cockpit this uh, particular unit has our upgraded uh, fabric material throughout the entire boat so as you can see the sofa is wrapped around this uh, uh, upgrade material it's called Batiline it's a French material specifically designed for exterior usage so breathable drainable it's synthetic but have that look and feel when you touch it of a real cloth fabric so it's much more luxurious than your standard vinyl uh, that was used uh, before on the exterior of the yacht uh, so it's uh, absolutely resistant to uh, sand, ten, sand lotion and can be washed with water and soap. You will see through the walkthrough that we will focus a lot on uh, storage. The storage is never enough on board. So while we are in the cockpit, we'll take a look at the storage option that we have here. This is a very convenient, you see it folds uh, you know, with one hand. The cushion stays attached to the door, so you don't have to move cushions and doors separately. And this is a beautiful, nice storage where you can store either cleaning product, your covers for the table, covers for the sofa, which comes standard with the boat. And uh, interesting is also that we provide you with a double rack specifically dedicated to shoes. So you will see, as you can see here, uh, you know, you have a mesh material where you can set the four pair of shoes, uh, aerate it, and uh, then close the locker and you don't have the shoes hanging out uh, in the cockpit. This specific uh, unit is equipped with what we call our uh, cockpit docking station, which uh, consists of the joystick, maneuvering joystick system, which is uh, provided to us, sold to us by MAN. This, is, uh, this boat has 12, uh, 12 cylinders V configuration, 1400 uh, horsepower MAN, and we buy from MAN the entire package, so engine, reduction gears or gearboxes, uh, commonly known as, uh, common levers in cockpit and helm, as well as joysticks. So the entire propulsion package comes from the same manufacturer, which is very important when it comes to service, warranty, and assistance throughout the world. So this joystick comes with the propulsion package, have uh, uh, different features, uh, such as the commonly known as a skyhook, where the boat stays uh, where, uh, in the same position. Uh, you have control for bow and stern thruster, and uh, dedicated if you want to use them separately or they are also controlled by the just the, the man aventix uh, joystick system i think we're ready to walk inside so uh, again beautiful custom made for the model stainless steel and crystal door and then once you open it all it folds exactly in line with this piece of cabinet to give you this uh, sort of feeling where now from the last step of the access from the transom to the cockpit and the salon you have no more steps so welcome inside this is uh, actually a uh, work of art from our uh, style and uh, design department they have redesigned completely the 72 flybridge and this is the result so now is completely in line with the rest of the design of the flybridge collection of the newest uh, model while we're here i want to talk to you a little bit about materials so uh, here we have uh, what we is a brush oak uh, which have a 10% gloss finish. So just a very little tiny uh, amount of finish to protect the material from touching and uh, usage condition, but just uh, still uh, enough to give her the natural feelings. 
uh, next, immediately next to uh, something which instead is treated completely different. So this is an 100% mahogany, 100% gloss mahogany. So you have a 10% gloss oak. Of course, the separation is always made by beautiful custom-made stainless steel profiles next to 100% gloss mahogany. So a combination of something which wouldn't sound right and then when you put it together instead you have that contrast which makes this beautiful combination. And once we'll move in, I'll show you the third uh, wood that uh, makes the decor of this 72 flybridge. Here, of course, you can see the beautiful piece of art is your glass cabinet. This is typically we would see this design for bottles. So once the owner will decide which kind of bottles he prefers in here, you will simply have uh, an acrylic uh, um, support like this made custom for the bottles so the bottles will stay in their position without moving uh, underneath is the perfect location for your wine cooler and a little bit of the audio video equipment you can see the direct tv uh, decoder as well as the uh, sound system so this is another uh, part that has been used for you know this bar area where you have all your glasses and again extra storage there for coasters and any other sort of uh, you know bar related equipment the door lock in place then you pull it again and lock back into position so moving into the salon of course as i said i will not talk about what you see sofas and so on and so forth but sofas from a technical standpoint again we will talk a lot about storage storage as i said i repeat it all the time is never enough and we focus a lot of our design energy on uh, make sure that we use the most uh, of our space the entire surfaces of these sofas is dedicated to storage so once you leave the cushions which are holding place with very simple velcro you will leave this tab and every single volume of every single sofa is empty space which can be used for storage on uh, anything this as well same so you lift cover and full empty storage all the volume of the sofa so this is uh, the, the, the backstage, let's say, of the uh, salon area. And this unit comes with the uh, wood floor. Wood floor, the, the standard configuration of the 72 is carpet. And uh, Marie Max, our dealer in the US, ordered this unit with uh, the option of the entire wood floor. 55-inch uh, TV here, electric high-low. So uh, there is a switch over there, which you put it up and down. And uh, of course, the reason why is you don't want to look at an ugly appliance, as I always say, televisions, unless they're on, and miss the beauty of this incredible amount of natural light. And imagine again, you are in the Bahamas or in Sardinia or in Indonesia, in beautiful places, and imagine this 360 degrees view will be uh, your boat by yourself in, in, in a beautiful bay. There is nothing more spectacular. So this is why we provide this amount of of lighting and window and we try to obstruct as less as possible so uh, another point that I would like to uh, you focus on is the lighting work so of course the entire lighting system of the boat inside and outside is all LED nowadays granted uh, and uh, but uh, our design team and our architects made uh, this beautiful modern sleek uh, delicate and classy uh, design work on the, uh, the ceiling of the 72 flybridge with this uh, uh, geometry uh, work that they've done with led lighting so the, all the lighting is also brand new when we move forward of course this is the dining uh, an aspect of the dining uh, table two aspects is a uh, crystal crystal table reason is that uh, uh, we would like to have as less possible objects blocking your view so this gives you a more uh, uh, a more significant feeling of the space available because you can see through your eye doesn't stop here but stop all the way there and through uh, in a way through the light there so that's uh, uh, the reason of the crystal top and of course you will appreciate that again you have natural light and view uh, partially obstructed of course by the sitting uh, there is no other option but nevertheless still give you the feeling of seeing through and as you can see, we cut the bulwark in order to have this almost floor to ceiling window carry on through the exterior and give you the most view on the outside. Uh, I think we should go to the galley. And this is where we find the third material, which is this wood, which is called Thai. And this has a 25% gloss. Refrigerator is an AC DC refrigerator from the Matic. So, but it's a house of full size. Uh, refrigerator here and the freezer on the bottom of course uh, which works both with battery power as well as uh, uh, shore power power or generator 
Everything else around here is very clever. The usage of space, space for storage. You will see here, this is your uh, spice, spices cabinet. So you have, uh, you know, those acrylic indent cut to put all your spices in the proper spots so they will not move and fall down uh, during navigation. This is all storage. So this entire island is divided in one, two, three, four, five, six different compartment of storage. So picture that this entire volume is uh, storage. And then turning around, of course, you have your standard storage under the sink with your trash compartment and room to put either another trash or product. Uh, your cutlery, as we always try, uh, we always show, specifically made with Azimut Yacht logo on every single piece. So these are not just bought at the store, but they are custom made uh, for Azimut Yacht and for the Azimut 72 in this instance. So every single piece has our logo. You have some more available space. Of course, I will not go through uh, the appliances. Everything is Miele, German, the best brand as far as we are concerned on the market. So this unit has the upgraded Miele package. Uh, clever uses the space, space. Again, two exactly identical uh, sort of pantry uh, units to also use that amount of uh, leftover space in a clever way, convenient. All right. And uh, of course, uh, a dishwasher. Uh, for um, six people where uh, uh, you know you don't have to wash your dishes by hand of course we always provide natural ventilation in the galleys wherever is possible so that gives uh, a, a direct outflow in case there is something smelly uh, of course there is also an integrated electric hood uh, to take care of your cooking beautiful workspace here you know if you remove the decoration pieces you can see the amount of working space that you have uh, to cook and of course extra storage here uh, which is this entire volume uh, used for storage uh, as well moving uh, uh, forward this is what we call a breakfast dinette a breakfast nook and is a very is a very beautiful area uh, very a little bit more informal than that of course you can have lunch dinner uh, this will be more uh, you know, we say it a breakfast nook, as I said, and uh, is a more relaxed area or can also be a charting area. So in case of longer navigation, you need to, you li still like to do your routing, opening a, an actual paper chart, assuming that they still sell them. Uh, this is a perfect area to do some, uh, you know, charting as well. Uh, we can move uh, to the helm where we have in this configuration we have also what we call a co-pilot seat so of course the boat standard comes with the pilot seat which is electrically operated up and down back and forth and can be ordered with the co-pilot seat without the co-pilot seat this area basically will be empty will be just the cabinet and uh, can be used for other purposes the helm we is another place where we invest a lot of uh, time from our technical department in terms of distribution of ergonomics and as you can see everything is where it's supposed to be and where a captain during navigation would like it to be for instance the joysticks is always on the outmost side of the helm so when you maneuver you will be able to control your boat meanwhile looking at the closest area where uh, you can have a fixed reference point on land to dock your control levers of course and uh, uh, we will go through a little bit of the systems here starting from the monitoring system navigation package this boat has uh, what we call our platinum package uh, it's uh, the most complete of our raymarine electronic package and includes also the monitoring system which is actually the screen uh, one of the screens you're looking at right now so this is now set on your standard chart plottering uh, screen which will be used for navigation through the same uh, units and you have other two on the flybridge you basically can control uh, all your navigation and uh, uh, your system on board another very convenient uh, page of our uh, raymarine azimuth uh, monitoring system is the air conditioning control so from here you can control the air conditioning in every single area of the boat uh, this is as a 120,000 BTU system and you can control every single area from here or which is probably what you would do uh, the most just push that button and the entire boat will be set at the same temper or same fan speed uh, this is your uh, navigation page that is the one you would uh, probably have on or goes on go on when you are moving and you can control your trim and uh, uh, both the lateral and uh, uh, longitudinal trim as well as uh, automatic fuel transfer pump 
to automatically balance and so you can set uh, uh, of course the controls in auto or manual as you prefer actually last but not least this is your first electrical panel uh, where you have the control for both your AC and DC uh, system and the one that you use the most frequently, right? There is uh, another fairly complex electrical panel in the engine room, we'll take a look at that later. This is the one uh, where the uh, breaker, uh, you know, the protection of the most commonly uh, operated system on board are, so you don't have to go down to the engine room, you have it right here. DC here, AC there. So I think we are ready to go down and uh, uh, lower deck. Uh, talking about the stairs, very comfortable, just four step, very wide, beautiful handrail for safety, another handrail here. So as you can see, uh, picture this kind of movement now, maybe in a rough sea, you wanna go down, the, 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 you're in, caught in bad weather, bad condition, it's very important to have a very comfortable stairs and a very safe environment where you're moving on. Just out of the master cabin, this is uh, your uh, very convenient and comfortable storage for typically sheets, towels, all the uh, material for beds and bathroom might be in this area, potentially for all the cabins. There's been three very deep uh, shelves for storage in this area right here. And then going into the master. As, of, uh, as on any uh, product of our collections, light and uh, bringing the environment in. The lower deck back in the days was the typical place where people were just sleeping and uh, uh, they had uh, round portals like that. So that was the, imagine this cabin and this maybe times two is the amount of light and relationship you have with the exterior environment. So the lower deck of boats was really the place when after everything was over, people were going to sleep in bed. Nobody wanna spend time in the lower deck. It was always dark very little light. Paolo Vitelli obsession uh, was to start bringing light in the lower deck and he's the one which started the movement and developed uh, the first project with structural uh, windows. Problem is that in our world these glass have to be structural, have to withstand the same stress that a piece of fiberglass would be able to withstand. And that's not easy. Those kind of windows didn't exist. Or they existed for the bulletproof industry, but they didn't apply. So there was a lot of research from our R&D to come up uh, um, firstly with those uh, uh, first models of 15, 16 years ago, where we have those six or eight windows square, still with a lot of framing, but at least bringing in much more light up to the days of today, where every manufacturer in the industry right now does. Uh, but you have uh, uh, this kind of uh, square footage, if you wish, of completely clear view. Again, imagine you are in the Bahamas now by yourself in a beautiful bay and this is uh, from both sides. You actually want to spend time in this cabin. Why not? So uh, going into a little bit more of details, storage again. So of course, very comfortable bed, uh, extra size, extra wide, extra large for the American market and uh, but also extra storage so every single bed in the 72 flybridge i will show you the one uh, a few of them in the other cabin uh, provide this uh, incredible amount of storage so you have sheet set towel set for the entire boat manuals bags manuals imagine this is perfect for uh, you know suitcases and uh, any sort of uh, uh, material even clothing even extra clothing you can you know set it up uh, uh, comfortably under this uh, storage of course, uh, both nice stands have storage uh, compartments in them. And on this side, you have this uh, drawer chest with storage on both sides. So the same volume of storage is here. And you have your drawer chest at times four. Again, very, very deep. So imagine uh, easy six shirts folded can fit in every drawer and uh, perfect for underwear or socks. So a lot of storage here. And uh, of course, on this side, you have a full-size mirror on this side, as well as a full-size mirror on that side, which of course, behind here, you can see, uh, if you focus, you have the frame. This is gonna be the television. When it's on, you see it. When it's off, you don't. And the only thing you see is this incorporated beautiful sound bar. So I was talking about mirror, mirror on this side, mirror on this side. And here you have, of course, a full walk-in closet 
with dedicated light and as you can see once you will come here you have shelvings uh, you have uh, drawers you have a hanging bar you have a safe so this is a, a, a you know a full walk-in closet uh, on this uh, master cabin design uh, lamp beautiful piece of design uh, here again we talk about uh, the three uh, different kind of uh, wood so you have your tie you have your oak you have your mahogany and here you also have uh, leather inserts these are part of the, the 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 pieces that can be chosen in terms of colors from our very comprehensive decor book um, and uh, that goes with the headboard as well as the bed trim this is uh, what uh, we call again another breakfast nook if you wish is a beautiful place where you can have a coffee in the morning uh, when your landscape obviously uh, will be worth and also is the vanity for her so you have an integrated mirror on this side of the door and enough thickness here for her to have uh, uh, as much as possible of her makeup components all stored here so readily available and comfortably and conveniently located and I think we can move uh, uh, to the bathroom bathroom where of course his and hers uh, again a uh, miracle of uh, uh, synthetic materials so this uh, looks 100% like a natural stone is not and uh, is actually as I always say is more expensive than natural stone but is uh, completely resistant to anything so nothing can affect it and uh, is, uh, is really a win-win uh, game storage ample storage everywhere so you have your classical medicine cabinets here with one two three compartments each as well as two of this niche with three shelves with the navigation retaining system each and of course very cleverly designed usage of space of course you have your drainers there so this is cut through in order to do not waste this available space just because there is a drainage of the sink on both sides and of course you have the same instead full size drawers under here uh, your toilet what i would like to do i would like you to see showers because i think is another one of those points where it's nice to show in videos a couple of features in the shower but first of all this is the largest shower on board and it's not very uh, complex to show how big it is but as you can tell i both have a rain shower here as well as a telephone shower here and look the amount of uh, free movement I have I don't interfere with nothing I'm, I'm really in a, in a full residential size uh, shower with no limitation of any kind this is your starboard guest which is a double bed uh, again I will not focus too much on what you see you see that this is a bed uh, what it is is also instead storage very easy access storage or technical space so this is exactly where I would like you to have an idea of the amount of volume of storage which is right here every cabin has an in suite this is a dedicated in suite this is your storage uh, cabinet there will be an hanging bar installed here the end suite the materials are the same as we have seen in the master so you have your brush oak your tie 25 percent gloss and uh, your uh, synthetic stone and going into the shower again i can even close the door and you see the dimension of my movement in the shower i am uh, six feet right six feet and under than 70 pounds so i think average size uh, male and I can move perfectly and comfortably in showering. Uh, so it's a very comfortable shower despite being in the uh, guest cabin of this uh, Azimo 72 Firebridge. Of course, dedicated audio video, in case soundbar, television in this case is exposed. Storage, we discuss it everywhere available. We use volume for storage. Also the nice stand is storage. Under this bed is extra storage. And uh, I think we can move to the other gas cabin here on the port side real quick not spending too much time into it um, so you have actually again I said it before look at the amount of volume of storage you have under this bed uh, as almost as much as the master cabin storage up here just like in the other cabin and storage in the nightstand dedicated nightlight 
socket on both sides to leave your phone at night and charge your iPad if you want. And you can leave it there. And again, look at the amount of natural light. Of course, uh, uh, you can have the same sizing as the master cabin because the volume of the boat here start being more narrow and you have those uh, more aggressive shape when it comes to window. But look at the amount of natural light that you have in this cabin. Dedicated, of course, uh, cabinet here with hanging bar and shelf and again, access to the uh, uh, technical side. And this is an end suite for the port cabin as well as a day head. So this is the only head which have two doors. And so in case you have guests, you have a party, you have people on board which do not sleep on board. This is the bathroom they will use in case of need. So VIP, VIP cabin. Actually, while you're looking at it this way, this is where you can really appreciate the benefit of our uh, trapezoidal uh, bow lines. One of the advantages of that bow, we'll see the other two when we go to the bow outside, is that it gives much more room in the forward-most cabin. So the VIP cabin in this particular instance, uh, if this boat would be designed with a more old-school, narrow, pointy-looking bow, that bulkhead will be 25 to 30 percent more narrow, so the bed, so the cabin. So that bow design, if you wonder uh, why is not cosmetic also we think is nice and beautiful but all as as three very identified and clear benefits two of which are uh, to be shown outside and one of which instead is clear right here VIP immense amount of uh, clothing storage again access to the exterior shelves on the side immense amount of storage on both sides of the ceiling and uh, uh, you know every single volume available for storage and um, it is uh, used. This is a pretty uh, neat, a nice little library and uh, very convenient plane to put stuff here as well. But this is your clothing storage. We'll have, uh, of course, we have uh, the under the bed storage in this cabin as well. Natural light, uh, still an incredible amount of natural light. Uh, and air ventilation. You have noticed in every area that we went through that we offer both natural light but also still natural ventilation. So end suite, in this case VIP. And uh, also here we do our little shower demonstration because uh, this is where probably makes the most sense. And again, you see I'm perfectly comfortable. I can make all my movement. I don't hit anything. I don't touch anything. I'm fully free to move. So it's a very, uh, I would say, almost residential si size uh, uh, shower. Bucket of the shower and the same material as the, as the top. And of course, uh, uh, you know, we discuss about uh, this clearly a Roche uh, storage with a cutout for the drainage, storage underneath, uh, storage in the med medicine cabinet, uh, natural light, natural ventilation in the bathroom, top of the line, bathroom accessories and uh, uh, faucets. So I think we cover fairly deeply the main deck and the lower deck. Very nice feature, side door in the helm, close to the helm. Uh, so it's electrically operated. Actually, you unlock by just pressing this button. You press this button and the only electric part is the closing. So the part which compress the door against the gasket to make it full watertight is electric. Once that noise of the motor is done, you just push the door and you go outside. So. While we are here, so we also see very comfortable access. Nice stainless steel AZ316 electro polish for all our exterior stainless steel workout. While we are walking, I want you to look how comfortable is the sidewalk. And this is the trapezoidal bow that we were talking about in the, in the VIP cabin a few minutes ago. You see that it's not uh, like a narrow bow like all these boats that you can see around. You see how that bow, for instance, that would be a perfect comparison, how narrow and pointy it is. And this instead is a trapezoidal, which uh, again, we discuss in the VIP cabin, make sure that this area right here behind the collision bulkhead, which typically is the forward bulkhead of the VIP cabin, is the widest uh, it can be, but also increase dramatically the walking surface of this area. This is a very technical area, very important, especially when you could be in rough condition, rough seas. Uh, you have to operate your windlass, and this is uh, increase the amount of square feet of walkable surface, as well as the amount of available storage. This, of course, will be your anchor locker. But if you take a look at this, 
uh, laminated incorporator steps to walk down. Pocket there is perfect for vertical fenders, which goes from here all the way to there. So technically all your fenders can be stored conveniently right there. And of course, you have your galvanized steel uh, chain in here. Um, handle, of course, of your windlass. We'll not go through basic detail. Every azimuth comes with, of course, control a button, food control button. You see a red and a gray typically is up and down. The blue is a chain wash system. So when you press this button with your foot, there is a pump in the build, suction water from the ocean. You don't want to use your fresh water tank. And I say so because many times I'm asked that question. Does that take water from the fresh water tank? No, it does not. You're just washing your chain in order to make sure that you don't put it away full of mud or debris, which would then start smelling and air dirty. So you just push this button, a pump comes on, water from the ocean, and the chain comes into the chain locker perfectly clean. The third point of the bow, I said there was three points. Walking surface, width of the collision bulkhead slash VIP uh, forward bulkhead, Last but not least, and actually if you turn around, you see it much better on that unit right there, which is still an Azimuth 72, another one. And you see that there is this flat surface uh, right under the bow. You see that the hull comes up as it would if it would be a narrow um, bow area. And then there is a big, nice flat surface. That prevents all the spraying when you are in bad weather. Uh, that would give you typically a wet ride. That's imagine that that is a big, nice flat area facing the water. So imagine when the bow cut through the ocean and cut through the waves, and of course the natural splash of the waves breaking would come up. That is instead blocked down by that trapezoid bow design. Uh, sunbathing area, Betty line uh, fabric. This cutout is because it's the emergency escape hatch from the VIP cabin. So once you open the hatch from the cabin, you push it up, this part of the cushion flop up and you can get out in case of emergency. Beautiful instead, C-shape sofa here with integrated stereo system. Beautiful table, same material as the cockpit. Very comfortable, uh, beaming it up, a beautiful area where to spend time with a, a cocktail night, enjoying the beautiful breeze with friends and family. is really a very beautiful area. And during the day, this could be an area where people which don't necessarily like too much to stay in the sun, they can hang out with maybe uh, the youngers and the teenager, which instead would probably love to stay there. Talk about storage, every single part of this sofa open, full storage bin throughout for all your equipment. And on this side, um, this storage unit that we show has incorporated the controls for this hydraulic uh, bimini top. So you press the button and uh, you know, you have always every system which moves on boats. Uh, unfortunately, require the usage of two fingers to move everything which can interfere with, uh, uh, with safety, basically. You need to use two fingers, so you activate the system by holding down this switch and the other to put it up and down, uh, as well as you have uh, a, a beeper that indicates that the part is moving. So this folds perfectly under the sofa, close, you, you put your fabric down properly and these disappear. If you follow me, we do take a look at the flybridge. So this is a basically, uh, is the largest flybridge in the uh, category, in the segment of the 70-ish uh, flybridge products available on the market right now. Uh, one of the reason is the fact that this is actually the very first model where the entire superstructure of the boat, so from the, uh, the, the sidewalking that we just walk onto, uh, the entire house and the flybridge, everything from including the hardtop, all is carbon fiber. This is the first model where we have done uh, this magnitude of dimensional pieces in carbon fiber, which require uh, to build two uh, 90 by 30 feet and 20 feet high oven, if you wish, because the lamination in carbon fiber require what in uh, technical definition is called post-curing. 
So once you have laminated a piece, a component in carbon fiber, uh, it is required to put it in a, in a very controlled temperature and moisture environment to let the process of uh, join, if you wish, between resin and fiber to finish and complete. And if you don't do that, you will have those issues of uh, what is called print through. Is when you see those maybe older product or people which not necessarily have the the, necessity, the needed amount of engineering and knowledge and that when you see that print through when you can tell the shape of the fabric into a piece is because uh, the post curing happened after uh, the piece was installed and therefore the retraction of the resin uh, happened after uh, the application of the finished product. So the, the entire superstructure of the 72 flybridge is carbon fiber which uh, uh, doesn't have a relationship with performance, but it does have a, instead a strong relationship with comfort. Uh, because it's carbon fiber, the same surface can be done much bigger. Uh, in uh, yachts and boats, especially at shallow draft, uh, so planning hull, it's very important to keep the top of the boat as light as possible. You don't want to build uh, the boat which is jerkily cold, top heavy, because top heavy means a lot of rolling. Uh, so through the usage of carbon fiber, you're reducing the weight from 35 to 50 percent, depending if you use vinyl ester or epoxy resin, of the same piece. So imagine this entire house and flybridge in fiberglass, standard fiber and uh, polyester resin, would be 50 percent heavier. Therefore, you can't do it this big. You will have to do what? You can't increase weight because you will have stability problem. The only thing you're left with is reduce space, reduce volume. If you want a lot of volume, a lot of space and little weight, the only option is carbon fiber. So that's uh, a little bit of the backstage engineering and story. And that's what has allowed us to make the largest flybridge in the, in the segment in the industry. Same table as we discussed in the cockpit. This entire sofa has a storage compartment underneath each cushion. Very easy openable. Cushion comes out, access the storage, panel goes down, cushion goes down, done. Here in the aft, you have uh, the configuration of these specific units. This is a, an empty canvas. You can do whatever you want from here to all this area. In these units, we have uh, uh, selected a, a two love seat combination with a coffee table. Again, another fantastic area. Imagine that you are now navigating and uh, uh, you know, towards something beautiful. You're surrounded by nothing and uh, you are here maybe at low speed again, enjoying a drink, chit-chatting with your friend. This is a, a beautiful area. Um, another, while we are here, very nice, new for the 2020, 2021 season, is a completely new redesigned handrail for the 72 Flybridge Aft, which incorporate uh, tempered crystal glass, uh, you know, partitions. Um, you have, uh, this is actually very convenient and expensive, is uh, this could have been just a cut out without the door. Uh, the fact is that when you have bad weather and rain start flowing, by closing this door, you can completely enjoy the cockpit without having rain coming down. So again, uh, stainless steel finish and uh, uh, flybridge access door. Stereo system, worth taking a look at the uh, bar area because it's very complete. Here you have your barbecue, which has a very generous work surface just right next to it very convenient for grilling and sink with hot and cold water of course uh, you have a ice maker here with again very important ventilation so actually much more vent than needed to make sure that uh, you have abundance of ventilation very important for appliances refrigerator here uh, you have your tv ilo so by the press of the button once, you press that button, perfectly located here, arrow up and down, very logic. Television comes up and you can watch your game now, uh, you know, in the beautiful alfresco environment. A very large electrically operated uh, soft top and uh, controlled by that switch right there on the side, open and close. Uh, hem station. Hem station is basically the same as downstairs. Of course, in the center, you have their main engine uh, MAN engine panel control, your monitoring system and uh, uh, navigation chart plotter, sonar and uh, deep sounder uh, integration in the Raymarine, VHF, everything here is pretty clear. A couple of features instead which are interesting. This table 
goes up and down electrically, controlled by a button here in the main helm. So it goes up and down, and it kind of mimic the breakfast nook that we saw downstairs. So you can have a, you know, a nice breakfast downstairs or up here. You bring it up, and when you put it down, there is a filler cushion, which is actually right here. Table goes down, filler cushion goes on top, and this becomes a nice sunbathing area. So, uh, you know, uh, captain, owner, and, and significant others, and friends and kids, everything hang out in the same area and comfortable, either seating with a table on both sides or down laying sunbathing so before we, we we walk down and access the the, the swing platform and uh, access to the crew quarter and the transom you know safety gates manually operated in lock beautiful custom made stainless steel with azimut yacht logo and very easy to operate lift up and they go back in two position either open or closed can't go wrong and uh, this is actually the control of your platform by pressing these two buttons together you turn it on and off and then there is an up and down um, arrows buttons which are self-explanatory uh, four meters maximum size tender a little over thousand pound capacity thousand fifty pounds if i'm not mistaken uh, integrated boarding ladder so again when the platform is down is also very and the tender is off or the jet ski is off it's beautiful to leave the platform like uh, at water level, maybe just behind the water. So if it's very hot, you can actually lay on it and have that nice flush of water on your back. Uh, or you can put a chair on it, a chair's long. So when it's down, what you want to do, you want to open this panel, fold down the ladder, so to have access, of course, to the water. And then this panel fold back down, lock uh, uh, safely in place. And uh, now it guarantee again a flush teak deck surface when the ladder is down. While we are here, uh, telescopic electric hydraulic gangway in three elements. First is fixed, second two are telescopic. And uh, you retracts completely and uh, uh, create a very clean transom because close, uh, once it retracts, it takes this door in and uh, uh, you don't see it anymore. The controls of the gangway are actually in the compartment where you have the docking system that we looked at before. So they are covered all the time, protected from the elements. So very clever positioning of the control. Uh, while we are here, this is actually a storage locker. Uh, right now, full of fenders and lines. Perfect location for any sort of a, a boat equipment, but also perfect for diving. You can have a, a diving compressor installed easily in the end room. Uh, you fishing gear, sea bobs, there are two sea bobs that can fit in here in a vertical position. So it's a very conveniently located storage compartment. Uh, easy access to the water, fishing, uh, diving, uh, toys, uh, you know, and uh, is, is very easy access. Uh, completely watertight uh, door. And once it's locked, it's completely watertight and can be locked with a key. So all your valuable can be locked as well. Same identical door on this side provides us access to the crew quarters and the engine room. This is the crew quarter, which are actually for 72 feet <clears throat> are extremely generous and, uh, and perfectly located because again, access from the transom. So to access the crew quarter, uh, the crew never have to ask anybody to get up on from a sofa in the cockpit. So independent access, lockable, and uh, they have uh, basically two cabin, if you wish. One cabin is, is actually a real cabin with an actual door, which can be locked and closed. Typically, this would be the, the, the captain cabin with his own uh, dedicated audio video system. Of course, air conditioning units, hanging bar here exposed for all the clothing, drawers, storage under the bed, easy access to the fan coil, again, for cleaning filter we mentioned before, all storage on the side, storage here. So here, even more importantly, storage is of essence because you need to be very clever in the usage of the space you have. The less you have, the more you need to use it cleverly. Um, and this is the second cabin, if you wish. So you have, he has, a, you know, quite a bit of storage above the bed there. And uh, of course, uh, this uh, curtain can be closed and at night create a separated area. So this will be maybe deck end and captain. Uh, while we're here, this is actually interesting because this is your sea keeper. Sea keeper unit is uh, installed right here, and uh, when it's up and running, there is a, a very minimum uh, amount of, mo of noise and basically zero vibration, so it's, it's perfectly fine under 
under a bed isolated by, by wood, but this is your sea keeper option on the 72 flybridge. Uh, and of course, on the other side right here, you have uh, their uh, independent dedicated bathroom with uh, again in this case of course is a technical bathroom for crew members so the shower is part of the bathroom there is an, an isolated curtains which you wrap around yourself and uh, you shower but again once you are in the perimeter of the curtains the, mo the movement uh, is perfectly fine uh, you have toilet sink storage so this is uh, uh, the crew quarter head and bathroom um, elements important of the crew quarter which uh, we have never seen uh, before throughout the boat so you might wonder where they are where they are they are right here washer and dryer again Miele best brand on the market separate unit dryer on top washer on the bottom and located in the crew quarter so uh, in case of a crew operated boat that's where they belong but also in case of a family operated boat uh, the access to the drying and washing area is very comfortable there's plenty of room in case you want to use this area now more as a laundry or to fold the uh, uh, you know, the laundry is, is, is the right place to be. We are finished. I hope you enjoyed this uh, walkthrough on this brand new Azimut uh, Yachts 72 Flybridge. So if you have any question, please do not hesitate to reach out, azimutyachts.com. Thank you.